Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to VPN on your Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to show you a few different ways uh, in which you can connect to a free VPN on your Windows operating system. So let's see them one by one. So for the first method, what you need to do, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for VPN book. This VPN book is a website which also provides free VPN uh, alongside uh, the paid VPN services. So just click on the first link which will appear on the search result and that will be vpnbook.com and on the VPN book website you will be able to see uh, this tab which says free VPN. So, so just click on the free VPN tab here and you will be able to see uh, this section here. So here you can find two uh, different uh, ways to connect to a uh, VPN. The first one is free PPTP VPN and second one is by using free open VPN. So we want to connect to the VPN using this first method uh, using our Windows 11. So here you can see uh, this VPN book website provides a few different VPN servers from few different countries. So you can see it provides a server from uh, Poland, uh, Germany, USA, Canada, France and uh, that's it right. So we are going to use one of these servers. Also when you scroll down you will be able to see the username and password. So you need to note down this username. Username is always VPN book but the password keeps on changing here right. So this is uh, generated at the time when you load this website and it changes when you open this website let's say tomorrow and day after tomorrow it's going to change so just note uh, this password and then this uh, vpn book is the username right you can use any such service which provides vpn servers and provides you the username and password and it's going to work fine right i'm just using one of uh, these websites so once you have this information, then what you need to do on your Windows 11 operating system, you need to open the settings app. Just click on the start windows icon here and then click on settings app here. Otherwise you can also search for a settings app by searching for settings app. So now once you are in the settings app, you need to click on the network and internet option. So just click on network and internet. And straight away the second option you can see here is for VPN. So just click on the VPN option here and then you just need to uh, click on this toggle button. If it's off you need to just turn it on. Both these uh, options you need to turn it on. And then you can see this option which says add VPN. So just click on uh, the add VPN uh, uh, button here and here you can provide the VPN uh, credentials right so the first one here is the VPN provider you can uh, see there is only one option here which is Windows built-in so you can uh, just uh, choose this option then the connection name the connection name you can provide anything so I'm going to just write VPN book because I'm uh, going to use the VPN book website for this the server name or address you can find on this website. You can take any one of these addresses, right? So I'm going to uh, use the uh, server address from France. So let me just copy this uh, address URL and then I'm going to just provide this here. And then VPN type will be PPTP, right? So point to point tunneling protocol because you can see we are using the PPTP VPN, right? So you can use this one. If you use OpenVPN, you have the other configuration. Now, once you go to the VPN connection uh, again, you can see username and password. You can also uh, connect with smart card or one time password or certificate. So these are all options which are possible. But right now we have the username and password. So we are going to select username and password and then provide the username and password. So username as you can see here is VPN book. This you can copy and paste it here. 
but you can't copy the password this is an image so you need to manually type this right so this is 8shx95n i'm going to just type this 8shx95n in my case i can just view this 8shx95n and this is 8shx95n once you have provided all the required configuration you can click on save which is going to create a new connection for you so you can see this vpn book connection is created but it's not connected because you need to manually click on the connect button in order to connect with this vpn server so i'm going to click on the connect option and then it's going to verify the sign in and once everything is fine you will see that it's going to be connected so now i can see that uh, this connection is established and i can also disconnect this uh, connection from here so now let's check from which uh, country ip address uh, we are getting this uh, connection from so i generally use what is my ip address.com and i refresh this and you can see it's providing me the dns server from uh, cambodia right so even though i was expecting the french vpn it's providing me the uh, vpn server from cambodia which is okay because i'm not living in cambodia but it's providing me the vpn server from other country so it's working if you want to change uh, the server you can change it from here so let's say i want to use uh, this server now from uh, canada so i can uh, just go to uh, my vpn connection once again disconnect it and then expand this option click on advanced option click on edit and then i can edit this address i just need to edit this address because the password will be same and then i can go back and then click on connect and i can see that it's verifying the connection once again and now it's completing the connection and now you can see the connection is established so let me just refresh this uh, web page and now i can see uh, the country and the region has been changed right and this also uh, is not the country in which i'm uh, living in and that is also working fine so my vpn server is working fine it's just that i'm not seeing the country from which i'm taking this address and that's okay for me because at least the isp is not from the same country in which i'm living in right now deleting the vpn connection is also easy so you can disconnect your connection first of all and then just expand this and then click on remove and and then click on confirm and it's going to be removed and you can add the new vpn connection by clicking on this uh, button once again so this is how you can connect to a vpn server from your windows 11 operating system manually let me show you one more way in which you can uh, connect to a vpn server for free and that will be completely automatic so let me show you that also so first of all open your favorite browser and search for touch vpn and the first link which will appear here will be from touchvpn.net so just click on this touchvpn.net website and here you will be able to see this kind of web page so when you scroll down a little you will be able to see uh, get touch vpn at the top and you will be able to see this button also which says get touch vpn so you can click one of these buttons i'm going to click on this and then you can choose your platform so because we want to install touch vpn on our windows 11 operating system i'm going to choose this option which says windows msi so just click on this option so once this touch vpn.msi file is downloaded just click on this file and then you can minimize the browser and first of all you just need to click on yes here which is going to start the setup of touch vpn and you can see the touch vpn setup has been finished in few seconds and you can also see this shortcut is created on our desktop for touch vpn and once this touch vpn uh, software or app is installed it's going to start automatically and you can see it says encryption is enabled so from here you can uh, select 
the VPN server from uh, this list from any country which is shown in this uh, list. So let's say I want to uh, have a VPN server from Australia. So I can just select Australia and then you can see Australia is selected and now the VPN connection is also enabled. Now in order to check whether it's working or not, you can open any uh, website which shows you the actual location of your internet provider. I use generally this uh, website which is called whatismyipaddress.com and you can see it's showing me the country uh, Australia even though I'm not located in Australia, right? So I can uh, change this uh, location once again. For example, this time I want to choose the United Kingdom uh, VPN server. So it's going to connect to that server. And now I'm going to refresh this uh, website. And now I can see uh, this country. So you can see my IP address is now from United Kingdom, right? So you know that whatever country you choose here, your uh, IP address will be from that country, right? So this is how you can uh, install and use Touch VPN on your Windows 11 operating system. So in this way, you can connect to a free VPN server from your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.